everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. Today's video, we're going to continue our series on mining flux. And today we're going to focus on a 2070 Super. So before we get into this, let's take a quick look at flux today. Today is February 11th, 2022, uh, 9.06 p.m. Eastern time at time of recording. And you can see the price of flux is at $1.59. We're down 7.12% for the day. And uh, looking at the one day chart, uh, it's not looking so great. Let's zoom out and look at a three month. So we've seen some, uh, some fluctuations. We did see a nice little recovery here uh, early January. And now we're uh, kind of dipped back down again. So uh, a lot of variability in the price of flux over the past few months. And unfortunately now we are in a bit of a, uh, a bearish trend, if you will. Okay, so before we start mining Flux, uh, as usual, we need to get ourselves a wallet and we are using the Zelcore wallet for Flux. So hop over to zelcore.io, download the wallet and get yourself a receiving address. And then let's hop over to what to mine. So we are using Mini Z as our miner for Flux. And as I mentioned, we are using our Zelcore wallet as our wallet and we are mining to mining pool, minerpool.org is our, our mining pool that we're using. So let's take a look. GPU number two is our 2070 Super. It is an EVGA 2070 Super with Micron GDDR6 memory. And you can see we're getting 55.75 solutions per second at 130 watts. This is extremely uh, efficient in terms of mining flux compared to all of the other cards we've tested to date. So our overclocks we're using are a plus 120 on the core, a minus 500 on the memory, and a 130 watt power limit. So let's take these numbers, let's go over to what to mine, and let's see what the profitability looks like. So what I've done, I'm comparing this to Ethereum. So this 2070 Super on Ethereum can get about 45.5 mega hash per second at 110 watts. And for Flux, we're saying 55.73 solutions per second at 130 watts. So the price of Ethereum right now is $2,949. And let's hit calculate and see what we've got. Uh, our cost of electricity, we're using, assuming 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, so Ethereum, we're looking at a $1.92 per day revenue number and $1.66 after electricity. And when we look at Flux, we're at $1.62 revenue per day or $1.31 profit after electricity. So I do wanna highlight one other thing here. When we're looking at the network hash rate, you can see the current network hash rate is 1.69 mega solutions per second which is down 17.4%. So this shows up in the rewards that we're seeing. So our current reward is 1.24 flux per day uh, compared to the 24 hour number, which is 1.02 flux per day. So you can see how much uh, the difference in network hash rate makes on our rewards and ultimately will make on our profitability. So if this network hash rate goes back up and we see the rewards go back down to one, roughly one flux per day, then we would expect our profitability to go down as well. So these numbers are always changing. Um, and I want to jump over and take a look at two miners website where they can, uh, where they show you what the network hash rate is. And I found this to be very interesting. You see these very large swings in network hash rate. So right now, we're at 1.67 mega solutions per second. And just a few hours ago, that was as high as 2.22 mega solutions per second. So really, if you wanna calculate your profitability, it may be worth looking at somewhat of an average number uh, over some period of time, because these instantaneous numbers are not necessarily reflective of what you will see uh, if you were to mine for a day, a week, a month even. So again, let's jump back here to the profitability numbers. Uh, the other thing I did wanna highlight, if you hover over the little information bubble next to the rewards, 
you do see that the bonus rewards are included by default. And what that means is they are calculating in the parallel assets for Flux. So when you are picking your mining pool, it is important to pick a mining pool that does pay parallel assets uh, in order for these numbers in what to mine to be accurate. Okay, let's take one last look at our 2070 Super. So 55.73 solutions per second. Uh, right now it's dropped to 128 watts, but again, our overclocks, we're at a core of plus 120, a memory clock of minus 500, and that is in, in Hive OS. Uh, so if you were to be mining in Windows, this would be a minus 250, and a power limit of 130 watts. Uh, again, the minor uptime is five hours and 25 minutes. So these are very stable overclocks and a uh, pretty reliable representation of the hash rate that you can expect to see on a 2070 Super. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, give us that thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell uh, to be notified of future content. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.